The Sunday Independent calls him one of the most influential artists over the past decade, while Rolling Stone magazine refers to him simply as extraordinary. We're referring to KZM born and bass guitarist and composer Guy Pachi. He's currently on his biggest tour, which sees him travel around the country during the month of February <coughs> to grace 19 stages. He calls it the Gathering Fiction Tour and joins me in studio to talk about it. Guy, good morning, welcome. Thank you, thanks for having me. Let's talk about the tour because it's 19 venues. It's I can only imagine physically must be hectic in terms of your body, your mind. Sure. How did this tour come about? Well, it started actually. I got back from Europe in October last year, and I was like, no, I'm taking a chill. I'm not going to go on tour anywhere for a while now, you know. And then after about a week or two, I was like, let's start. You know, let's go again. <laughs> okay. So the yeah. tour started getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and yeah, we are. yeah. You, you're so fortunate because this tour kicked off in Johannesburg mm -hmm. uh, in middle week. Tickets are sold out. I mean, that must just be fantastic for us. It's been a good run so far. Hey, we're happy, and it's and it's it's, it's going to carry on for the till the remainder of the month. So it's a, it's a big one, and for me, it's great. I, I must admit, like after a few nights, I, I, physically I start getting into the music. It's easier for me to express myself because I'm kind of on top of the, the playing, and it's just it's just it gets easier and easier. I think. Mm -hmm. So yeah. How do you then find time to put down new music? I mean, with such a hectic schedule, mm. I think I heard you say you were in 12 different countries, four continents mm. last year, multiple performances, you come in Gauteng and you get picked up for everything else. How do you then find time to be part of that creative process, be still and put down new music? I tend to take longer gaps off when it's, you know, after the hecticness, I'll go and just take like a four week where I'm just composing or recording or something. So I try and fit it in where I can. And at the moment I'm working on a new record, which is, been quite difficult because of exactly what you said, but it's getting there. And we've got a bunch of great guest artists on the album and it's, 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 it's slowly coming together and hopefully June, July, August will be out. Let's see. Because you have to obviously, yeah. when you're putting together the new album, it's got to be a, a move forward or a mm. progression, whether sure. that reflects on your life. You're currently on Live in Kozulu, um, still promoting that album, but that was released Oh, almost 15 months ago mm. and yet the reaction for it is still so amazing yeah I've been very impressed because I think a lot of the time people sort of they're not always convinced about live albums but for me growing up I was always like oh it's always in the live you know like for Bob mm. Marley records and, 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 and Doors albums they were always like the live records were the ones that I connected with so I've been I've been happy with the response because um, because yeah, you never know I suppose with the, with the live release you know, there's something magical about you when mm. you play. I mean, obviously you're listening to the melody, the tune, but there's, there's the physical characteristics of somebody who's totally in control of, of their instrument. And we were watching you. It was such a marvel to watch. You, you've got this relationship with <laughs> guitars that, are, that I, for me is indescribable. Uh, it's all Photoshop. Don't believe it. No, it's all smoke and mirrors. But, but I must admit, this, this new instrument that I'm playing is, 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 has, has, for me, taken the playing to another level. It's, built by these guys in just outside Cape Town, they're called Cassini Guitars. And they're just making ridiculous instruments. And it's really, it's really just in terms of projection and tone colors, the instrument has far more capability. So, mm. so I've been very happy to, to pick up this new guitar. 30 yeah. seconds, you're busy with some crowdfunding, what's happening? Mm. We are working on this new record, as I said, and we, we're putting together a crowdfunding campaign, which is gonna be pretty interesting, I think, because we're gonna try and do some vinyl releases, Exclusively for this project, we, we're auctioning off guitars, we're doing a whole bunch of stuff, exclusive recordings just for this campaign. And I think it's really cool to have people on board, you know, for the first time sort of acting as the record company would and sort of giving you an advance to make this album, which I think is going to be interesting. It's called, uh, it's called innovation, using uh, yeah, <laughs> the love for music. Well, 15 more stops before his national tour title, The Gathering Fiction Tour, comes to an end in East London on the 28th of February. You can visit his website, www.guybachi.ca.za, to find out more about that crowdfunding that he's talking about and maybe a little bit into techniques around the guitar as well. To see the tour schedule and venues, it's all there. If you're not going to be able to make any of the shows, get a copy of the latest album. It's called Live in Kozulu. And you will see why this young musician, I call him young, but he's not young. He's, <laughs> he's fresh. Stay with Morning Live and see more of Guy Pachi. We take an ad break back after this.